historically, people who watch TV and people who consume the internet tended to be very similar. Everybody watched TV and, and almost everybody had access to the internet. One of the odd things going on is that about 80% of Canadians keep watching an awful lot of TV. Two, three, four, five hours per day of regular television content. They're not ad skipping and they're not consuming an awful lot over the top, a little. But there is a portion of the Canadian audience, about 20%, about one-fifth, uh, who in fact consume very little traditional television. They are now consuming about a half hour a day, uh, which is really about 90% less than, than the average consumer would, would be using. And what they are doing is watching a lot of over-the-top internet television. They are consuming most of their TV through the internet and consuming relatively little traditional. Why does this matter? Because that 20% isn't different just because they watch less traditional TV, they also have profound demographic differences. In Canada, for example, we have good data showing that those people are overwhelmingly young. We have excellent data showing that they are overwhelmingly English Canadian. French Canadian audiences have not been cutting the traditional TV cord the same way English Canadian audiences have, largely perhaps due to over-the-top services like Netflix having much more content available in English than in, in French. We have other data from around the world. Those who watch the least TV, traditional TV, and most internet TV appear also to have higher incomes, to have uh, uh, better paying jobs, uh, more discretionary spending, and better educational levels. Interestingly, there are also cultural or perhaps linguistic or perhaps racial differences in the United States. Hispanics and Asians watch significantly less traditional TV and more internet TV than uh, the average population, Black Americans, on the other hand, watch much more traditional TV than average. These are profound implications. If you are a content creator or a content producer, you had better know your demographic because some of them are going to be watching a lot of traditional TV and some of them won't be watching any. If I'm making content available over the internet, you've got to know your demographic, but that can be a huge value add because if you think about it, those 20%, the, the young, the educated, the highly employed, the ones who don't watch much traditional television, they don't watch much anything else traditional. They're not reading newspapers. They're not reading magazines. So, not to be too much about money, but monetizing that 20%, the young, highly educated demographic, are becoming virtually unreachable through traditional media. Therefore, online or internet video is going to be the killer app for accessing that demographic and monetizing that is going to be almost certainly the growth market in Canada over the next decade. One of the problems with the fact that 20% of Canadians are eager consumers of internet video and demographically are moving away from traditional TV is the implication is, well, those are the folks who should get the highest speed bandwidth. Let's just run fiber optic cables directly to all um, rich people's home. Hang on. I see a public policy problem here. When we talk about access to things like the internet, when we talk to access to things like electricity and clean water and healthcare, here in Canada we have, we have a very strong set of cultural norms that what is available to the richest Canadians should also be available to the poorest. That's how you eliminate economic divides going forward. It is extremely difficult to come up with a public policy scenario where the government would, for example, be behind a push to only service the richest and youngest Canadians with high-speed networks. Regardless of who wants to consume high-speed data, and regardless of who's willing to pay for it, I think there's going to be some interesting public policy challenges around making sure that all Canadians have access to the best and fastest networks. <laughs>